they are like as young as 10, 11, they go to military tribunal for throwing rocks and they're put in jail, held, they're, they're tried and sentenced for 20 years in prison. But this Yad La, uh, tell me the name again, Yad La Hem, yes, party, the group that Bibi Netanyahu pays money to, they will go and throw rocks on our believers. They throw rocks at their houses, they break their windows, they throw rocks at their children, they terrorize their children. There was a recent incident and they're never thrown in any prison. Isn't that interesting? And if you listen to the voices of Messianic believers in Israel, they will tell you what they deal with. And I'm not talking about Catholics. They're not persecuted in Israel. It's the Je Jewish people who believe in Yeshua specifically. Come on. Okay. Um, all right, most heartbreaking truth, I must tell you number four. How Talmud is the law of the land in Israel and how Bibi lies when he says that Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East. Yes, the law is the Talmud and this is the time when I need to switch my PowerPoint to Talmud, if you would please. I know it's not very organized, but I apologize. But I need that the PowerPoint by name Talmud and uh, it's kind of like orange color. <laughs> and we're going to go into Talmud. What is it? And please stop me when, I'm up, when my time is up because this is a very long presentation. I mean, it can go for two, three hours if you don't stop me. Yeah. Talmud, what is it? Next slide. This is a picture of a Jewish rabbi studying with little boys in Israel. Small boys are studying Talmud from very young age in yeshivas. Yeshivas are funded by American government and Israeli government. They get a lot of money so they can uh, operate. And it looks all beautiful and innocent, guys. I mean, Judeo-Christian values, right? Okay, we have Judeo-Christian values. Now, the, the big question is, what is the book that they study? Um, the Talmud is a central text of Judaism, primary source of Jewish law, called Halakha, and primary source of seven Noahide laws called B'nai Noach. It's a centerpiece of Jewish cultural life, foundation of Jewish thought, aspiration, tool for Jewish ethics. It serves as the guide for the daily life of Jews and it directs their view and relationship with the Gentiles or the Goyim. So when you hear that, you know it's a very important book if that's the centerpiece of their life in every area of life. Now the problem arises here when a Jewish person or a rabbi tells you the word ta Torah. You will think immediately of what? What is he talking about? You're going to think you must talk about Tanakh, right? The, the, the five books of Moses, the writings and the prophets. That's our Torah. But that's not true. When they say the word Torah, to them, Torah is the Talmud. Now they will call Torah also the five books of Moses and, and the Psalms and Book of Ruth and writings and, and the uh, prophets. They call Torah for them encompasses all of that. But first and foremost, the word Torah is the Talmud, that's their Torah, because the Talmud takes precedence over Tanakh. Over, yeah, Tanakh to Jews is not important book. <laughs> I hate to say that, it's not. To them, it's, uh, they need a Talmud to explain it. They cannot understand it. This is why they cannot see Yeshua in Isaiah 9. They cannot see it in 53. They cannot see it anywhere. <laughs> 
Okay, so they have the Talmud and it takes the precedence. So be careful when you hear the word Torah out of Jewish mouth. You need to say specify, okay? And I had to learn that the hard way. Now, Talmud is a Hebrew word for learning. Uh, Jews refer to Talmud as the Torah. However, it is only the oral part of the Torah. So oral law equals the Talmud. Okay, for Christians, Torah refers to five books of Moses, Old Testament, which is the Tanakh, and they are generally unaware of the Talmud and what it contains. For Jews, Torah refers to Tanakh and Talmud together. So I just really want you to understand that very well because that's very important. During the time of Yeshua, oral law was not yet codified. Okay, so it was not written down yet. Maybe it was in some kind of form. It was, but not officially codified yet. That came later. So during uh, Yeshua, when you study his life, you're going to hear of traditions of the elders. So that's the, that's the Talmud, okay, that was later codified, which I will show here. There are two Talmuds, really. It's Jerusalem Talmud and Babylonian Talmud. And by 11th century, the Babylonian Talmud as was established or established the supremacy and today it is Babylonian Talmud that is meant by the word Talmud. When you hear Talmud, that's Babylonian Talmud. That's the Talmud today. Um, the Talmud is a compilation of historic rabbis discussing and debating what Torah means, what Tanakh means. It is an opinion of various Jewish rabbis. It contains 63 tractates, 6,200 pages. This is why they always study. They can never come to agreement. They always study and they can never come to understanding. <laughs> All right? Now, it has two parts. Talmud has, Babylonian Talmud has two parts. It's Mishnah and a Gemara. The Mishnah contains entire Jewish law. It's just, what's the law? Halakha. This is the law, this is the law, this is the law. They just write up the laws. And a Gemara takes and explains every law into a great detail. So it's basically Gemara part of Talmud is the explanation and interpretation of Mishnah or the Jewish law. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Now, this is the oldest Talmud. It dates from 1342. Uh, I have a picture of it here and it's available online, so if you want to study it, my husband has Talmud in Hebrew and we have it in English as well. I was, I, I resolved myself to study Talmud, can you believe this? And um, this is what opened my eyes. This is when I said, I gotta tell this to my brothers and sisters because they have no idea. Um, Talmud is studied in, in, uh, in entire Jewish Orthodox educational system. The Torah and Tanakh is not. In Israel they don't study the Torah that much. They study Talmud in all yeshivas. Parts of Talmud are even studied on, in a secular Jewish schools in Israel, but the Torah is never mentioned. Even IDF has appointed Jewish rabbis to ensure the Talmud influence in the Israeli army. I'm telling you this from factual information. Don't take my word for it. And if I could, I didn't know that's how it will work because I have pulled out from Israeli newspapers all of the proofs. But I have no way showing you because I, they don't have those. I mean, I have them here. And I thought I will be able to just kind of go back and forth, but it's okay. T Talmud is a source of many laws in the state of Israel today. And Bibi Netanyahu promised to make the Talmud, which is Mishnah and Gemara, the only legal system recognized in the state of Israel. Any civil law in Israel is subordinate to that of Halakha or Talmud law. Now, if I could now, I would pull up, which I prepared for you, where Bibi Netanyahu promised it in 2014, talking to a chief rabbinate. And he said that when the Jewish law passes in the future, 
And what just happened? He passed, right? So he was talking to his chief rabbinet and he said, I will personally see to it when the Jewish law passes that the Talmud and Gemara will be official legal code for the state of Israel.